what is going on YouTube? It is Minecraft to go here. Today I'll be teaching you how to make a Minecraft uh, beta one. So, I'm sorry, it's not beta. Uh, a Minecraft 1.0.0 server. Um, this is a craft bucket, which means you can have a um, a whole bunch of plugins and all that. It's really fun. So yeah, the first thing you want to do is open up any of your interwebs, and then you want to go to bucket.org, and the link will be in the description. And no, oh, okay. So here you want to download the latest recommend build for 1.0.0, but right now it's only for 1.8.1 since, since they're uh, still working on it. So this means if there's no recommend build there, you want to go to ci.bucket.org. And then you want to click dev-craftbucket, it's smack dab in the middle, can't see it, get some glasses, something like that. Alright, then you want to download the latest build. Now again, this is only if there's no recommend build, and then you want to click uh, craft bucket blah dot jar. Yes, it's, it's it has to be craft bucket blah dot jar. All right, close out of that, and on your desktop or whatever you want to save it, you're gonna make a new folder, call it server, um, Minecraft server. It doesn't really matter. Just make sure it has a name, obviously, and just drag this craft bucket dot blah dot jar into there, and now rename it. To craft bucket dot jar like this so craft bucket dot jar and now double click it and you'll get a um, a lot of items that will be downloaded yes so actually um all right uh see let's edit the server dot properties if you double click server dot properties obviously lol okay so now there's come let's go over the few things um let's see can I make this any uh, file edit format font okay all right, I'll make this really big so you can see it 28 okay hopefully you'll be able to see this maybe a little bigger format font 48 seems good enough all right so um <clears throat> the, the level dash name this is what uh your like your world name is going to be so I usually just keep that as world allow nether if you want um them to have the nether uh, you can false or true. I don't like nether. View distance. You can make this like um, 9, I guess. Or 10. Doesn't really matter. It's like how many chunks they'll be able to see. Uh, spawn monsters. True or false. So if you don't want uh, monsters to spawn. And then you can do um, false. Online mode. Now, if you if you want it to be a crack server, change this to false. But oh, I like mine to be a non-cracked. Difficulty. Now, I believe this goes from 0 to um, 3. Like, 0 is peaceful, 1 is easy, 2 is normal, 3 is hard. I, uh, and maybe 4 is, like, hardcore? I don't. I really don't know about that. Uh, we can experiment around that. Game mode. Now, this is a cool thing that was added in 1.8.10. .1. is survival. 1 is creative. Now, this is, like, when they join, will they be in creative mode? Blah. All that. Now, spawn animals. Now, if you want animal, animals to spawn in the world, you can change this to false or true. I hate animals. No. I, oh, hi, Peta. No. But, um, yeah. A max player, so let's say this will be the maximum amount of people that can join. So let's change, like, um, maybe I want one person, that's me, or five people, that's me and four others, or blah, people's. Yes. So let's keep that 20. Uh, server IP. Now, to get your server IP, you want to open up CMD. Now, to get CMD, you go into this little, little Windows icon, you type in run, and you type in CMD. And it runs. Simple as that. Alright, now, um, I can't really change, well, I can change font. But now, what you want to type is, in here, is ipconfig, so like, I, ipconfig. And now you're going to get all this little information. <clears throat> and you're looking for your ipv4 address. Now, there is two. Um, so, yeah. You want to get the one? Well, I guess it really doesn't. No, it does matter. I'm sorry. Okay, so you want to get your IPv4 address. It's right here. Uh, it's under wireless LAN adapter, wireless network connection, and uh, it's right. This is actually um, it's right below link dash local IPv6 address and right above subnet mask and minus 192.168.1.117. So yeah, this this is what I would enter for my server IP. 192. Ball. Okay, 192.16.17. Okay, no, I'm get, I got so many IPs confused in my head right now. I got my external. Uh, it's embarrassing. 
Okay, yeah, I was right. 192.168.1.117. All right, yeah, come at me, bro. We got my IP. PvP. Now, this means uh, player versus player, I think. Um, it is, actually, but that means if they can fight each other, true or false. Level seed. If you have a seed you like, you can uh, enter that there. Server port. Now, I just keep this. Wow, I sound Irish. Now, I just keep this 255. No, okay, now I just blew it. Now, you can. Um, I just keep this usually 25565, but you can change it to 255. Um, I think there's like a limit you can change it to, but I usually just keep it 25565, five, five, but I'm going to change it to 4 since I have another server. It's not running, but just in case. Allow flight. Now, if you want, if people have fly mods um, and you want them to use it, make this true. Now, if you don't want them to use it and kick them when they do, you make this false. Whitelist. <clears throat> so, say you, you only want like your friends to join, you, you make that true, but if you want this to be public, you make it false. And MOTD, so and added in 1.8.1, you know, like under the server IP, it will say like uh, blah, like, so I'll say, hero YouTube, yes, like that, exactly like that, yes, 100%, yes. So, but uh, be warned, some of these builds that are not recommended can be very glitchy, so um, yeah, I usually wait for the recommend build. But um, it doesn't really matter, since this is just a tutorial. Alright, now we need a way to start our server. You're going to right click in the server, a folder, new, and we're going to go to text document. And just name it start.txt, and now I'm going to open it with a program called Notepad++. So you can just edit it with like Notepad or WordPad. And now what you need to find out is you have a 32-bit or 64-bit. Now, if your computer has 2 gigabytes of RAM, this will general it will generally be a 32-bit, but it has over that, it's going to be a 64-bit. So yeah, copy this. Since mine is 64-bit since it has 8 gigabytes of RAM. And um, so mine is 64-bit, so I'm going to get the 64-bit code, and I'm going to paste it in. Now I'm going to save the start.txt, close that, and again, this is in the description. Uh, oh, cancel, min minimize that. And now, uh, if you double click start.txt, nothing will happen, it just it will open up. And we're just going to rename it to start.bat, B-A-T. Click yes, and now this will actually let us uh, run our server. So if we click start.bat, and now there we go, it will uh, generate our world, and yep our world just generated. Now, uh, if it's generating world, it might actually take a while for the world, the world nether, <clears throat> and all that to generate. Even though I disabled the nether, as you might have seen it, uh, seen, blah, I can't talk, blah, 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 no. But, um, this again is like a glitch in the build, so they have to fix this, so don't get like, oh no, you suck, your tutorial sucks, I'm just trying to get this out as fast as possible, you can see it, and I did tell you if there's a recommend build, go download that, didn't I? So yes, and now to stop your server in CMD, oh wow, let's fail, you type in STOP, like stop, and it'll stop your server, save chunks, click enter, and boom, it's gone. Now, um, let me, let's rename the start.bat back to, back, back to start.txt. So let's say you want to give your server more RAM. Hit it with Notepad++. Plus plus. All right. So right here where it says dash XMS uh, 1024M and dash XMX 1024M, you want to change this to say if you want two gigabytes of RAM, you want to change it to 2048M, and you got you have to change both of them 2048M, and um, so there you go. That and now my server has two gigabytes of RAM, but now. Um, I'm just gonna keep this 1024 for you know since it's just a tutorial. Save it and make sure you save it and um, 1024 is one gigabyte and so if you want, if you want three gigabytes or uh, four gigabytes it'll be four zero nine six five or uh, three gigabytes would be um, somewhere on there. I I can't think today. <coughs> it's not because I'm stupid at math. <laughs> no, but yeah. And uh, this is uh, this is like I really like Craft Bucket over a regular server just because there's a lot more opportunities. And now um, let me oh and let me go uh, speculate uh, speculate on some of these here. Okay, so this whitelist.txt. Wow. Okay, I need to open it with um, this is another glitch with my Windows opening .txt files with CMD. So now I say uh, I just want myself failing spell. And uh, maybe some of my friends. And uh, sound. So yeah. So you just enter your names like that if you have whitelist enabled. Um, and those will be only those will be the only people that can join the server. So yeah. Uh, that's basically it for that.
whitelist um, band IPs. And now, if you do the slash band uh, uh, slash band IP command in the right IP, um, it will go in there. Same with band players. Ops. Now, let's say you want to. Okay, I hate this. Right click, open with Notepad. So now, let's say um, you want some. You want to be an op, right? You just enter your name like this, and uh, Duke Seventy Two. Sound and so yeah, into there and now your ops you have able your you can do all the commands and stuff. Uh, so there's that um, server log you really don't need to worry about. This is going to show um, all the errors. This is going to show all the errors you get. See, I I was uh, I had an error I think before. Meh. All right. Um, that's it. So now if we start a server again, we should be able to join. Now um, unt whoops. Oh. Whoops! Uh, Got to rename your start.txt to start.bat, and uh, it will only run if it's start.bat. Okay, so if you run it, um, uh, you'll be able to join and stuff. Sorry, bat, bat. It's running. Blah. Yep. All right, it's good. So thank you for watching YouTube. If you like this video, subscribe. No, but um, yes, actually, yes, yes, do subscribe. Like, rate, rape, cop, rape, rate, comment, subscribe. Um. Wow, I'm just rambling on, aren't I? Aren't I? Aren't I? Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, oh, I forgot to say this. Oh, God, I feel like I'm on like coke or something. Uh, <laughs> like a million thoughts going through my head. Um, now for your friends to join, you have to port for it, right? That link will be in the description, all right? So just check that, and uh, you'll be able to port for it. So yeah, and then your friends can join. Oh my God, no, I'm just gonna end this. Thanks for watching.